God bless. In Jesus' name, a.k.a. Yahshua, through the Holy Spirit, amen. When it comes to giving God all of you, putting God first Monday through Sunday, because no day is bigger than the other. Yes, not even Sunday. Because actually, Sunday came from sun god worship. All the days of the week have a different god. Just to let you know how wicked this world in America is. A common excuse is everybody falls short somewhere or God made me like this or nobody is perfect to justify rebellion toward God. Excuse not to give God all of you. Excuse not to give God all your heart mind, and soul. Some people don't fall short. Why? Because they repent, which means wipe clean of all sin and put on the new man or new woman. And the Holy Spirit will live inside you, guide you, there is no excuse to practice, plan, run to, or blend in with sin. God hates sin, and you should too. You have power over your flesh when Jesus, a.k.a. Yahshua, died for our sins. It's up to you to activate that power. Don't fall into the do as thou wilt religion. For, <clears throat> for, for a excuse to be a wolf in sheep's clothing. Whatever your excuse is that's holding you back. Repent and let go of Satan's sister. Delete the excuse. Throw away the excuse. Pour out the excuse. Don't buy the excuse. Love your husband and wife, but don't let their excuse affect you. And your love for God. Don't be that person that give an excuse not to give God all of them by saying, I'll serve God when I get old and die young. Tomorrow is not promised. What's your excuse? Is it pride? Is it pride? Is it porn? Is it a strip club? Is it the love of money? Is it fornication? Is it stealing? Is it lying? Is it adultery? Is it cigarettes? Is it wine, beer, liquor? Is it gangster music? Is it lust music? Is it weed? Is it your hobby? Is it family? Is it friends? Is it your job? Is it your church? Is it your pastor? 
Is it homosexuality? Is it man-made tradition? Is it satanic religion? Is it gambling? Is it gossip? Is it your birthday? Is it a pagan holiday? We're supposed to be holy days. Is it cursing? Is it doing life or time in prison? There is no lukewarm excuse. And I'm coming from Genesis chapter 3, verse 13, to go back to the first excuse. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me. She tried to put it on the serpent for her choice, for, for excuse, for sin. And I ate while well, I eat. God bless and amen.